Hello again there, Callum from Top 10 VPN here, and today we're going to go through a simple, short, super quick and easy walkthrough for how you torrent properly using Proton VPN. Now the video is going to be super short and simple, not because I'm leaving anything out, because it really is just a very simple process. So you can see here I have up on screen just two things that we need for this. One is my torrenting client, which is Qubit Torrent, and two is of course Proton VPN. So we go to the Proton VPN app. There are a few settings that are very quick and easy to access that we need to check and make sure are toggled on straight off the bat before we do anything else. So first of all is the kill switch. And there are two levels of kill switch here if we take a look. There is both the regular kill switch, which is fine. It works. It'll cut your internet connection should Proton VPN fail at any point if you're changing servers or if something should happen to your connection your internet connection that prevents Proton VPN from working, or if there's an error on Proton VPN side, your whole internet connection gets severed and your IP address doesn't leak. But what we're actually going to toggle here is what's called the permanent kill switch. And that is a very serious, hardcore version of that kill switch, which means that if the VPN can't connect to the internet or isn't connected to the internet at all for any reason, you don't get any internet, meaning that if you turn it off deliberately and then just want to start browsing or torrenting, of course, you won't be able to get an internet connection at all. And that's the one I think I'm going to use for this one. Might be overkill, but you can never be too, too careful when torrenting. I very much don't want my IP address exposed at any point. I'm guessing you don't either. So that's the one that we're going to go ahead and enable first of all. Then after that, we're going to go over to the next button, the little shield icon which is going to be essentially what what uh, what Proton VPN calls its its ad blockers, its malware blockers, its tracker blockers, NetShield. I don't know, to be perfectly frank with you, how much of a difference that will make when we're torrenting. Of course, you can you should always be careful when torrenting files. There are malware out there. There's a lot of things that can go wrong, and a lot of dodgy files, and a lot of bad things you can get on your computer when you're torrenting. I'm not entirely sure if NetShield will stop any of that. However, it might help us, so better to be safe than sorry once again, and we'll leave it toggled. And also, just good, good practice, because now when you go off and use the internet using Proton VPN anyway, you'll have it toggled on there, and uh, you'll be seeing fewer trackers and fewer ad blockers, so it's a nice feature to enable. With those toggled now, that is essentially us done. There is one more thing that we're going to go and do, though, and we are going to go into the settings menu at the top there, and then we're going to click on the advanced tab, and then you're going to see the toggle for port forwarding, because of course that is one of the big selling points of torrenting with Proton VPN. Perhaps it's even why you're on this video or on the page that this video is hosted on. So we're going to go into the settings and toggle that. What you can do right now, if you have no interest in port forwarding, it's totally fine. You can go and torrent without it. Proton VPN is very effective, very efficient, and a very secure VPN for torrenting. So if you don't want ports forwarded, you don't have to do anything at this point. You can just drop your torrent into the John client or click your magnet link and you can get going and get your files downloading. But what we're going to do next is we're going to see how we can continue this port forwarding setup process because we're not done yet. The only thing I will say is that if you do want to go ahead and torrent right now, what you have to do is one more very simple thing and that is close your torrenting client. If your torrenting client was open like mine is here, which was for illustrative purposes, if it was open before you connected to the VPN server, you absolutely have to close your torrent client to make sure that it that it takes on that IP address that your VPN is giving you. Otherwise, the IP address that it first registered when you opened up the client could still be the one that's visible to everyone. And you don't click the cross in the corner there if you're on Mac. Don't click the little red X. You have to go into File and then manually exit it to make sure, at least in Qubit Torrent's case, and I think it's the case for most torrent clients if you're on Views or BitTorrent or uh, Transmission or any of them, make sure you've closed it down fully. That is how we make sure that our IP address, IP address doesn't link and then you can open it back up again. So that's you. Congratulations, you're done. But you want to learn how to port forward, follow me into the next section of the video and we'll take a look at how to do that. Now there is one important thing you should be aware of when torrenting with Proton VPN, or more specifically when port forwarding, and that is the choice of server. You may have noticed when we went and picked one at the start there, seemingly random, you know, the United Kingdom, because that's quite clearly where I'm based, if you couldn't tell from the accent. We want to have a server that's as close to us or the highest speeds possible, but it's also one that has that little two arrow symbol next to it. And that means that it's a server that's optimized for P2P traffic. And what it means in terms of optimizations is it means it will prioritize your traffic, it'll give you a broader bandwidth, but also it will allow port forwarding 
in the first place. So of course, when you're going to choose a server to torrent from, you gotta make sure it's one of those ones with that little P2P friendly icon if you want to be able to port forward. That's why we chose the one that we did in addition to having the proximity, which is very convenient. So now we go into the uh, Qubit Torrent app and what we're going to do is we're going to take the port address that was given us by Proton VPN. You can see there in the top left hand corner next to the torrenting icon just below our upload and download speeds. There is a, uh, in this instance, a five digit port. It's 53637. You'll be assigned one, I believe, at random. It's probably from within a certain range of ports from Proton VPN, but that's the one that we've been given. So if we go into Qubit Torrent, you're going to go to File, and then you're going to click on Options, and then Connections, and then you're going to see all the way at the top that it's presented for you nice and, and straightforward is the listening port, the port used for incoming connections, as it says, which is pretty much what it says it is, right? It's when you're having torrenting traffic coming to and from your router, it's going to use a specific port there. So we want to untick Use Universal Plug and Play, which is kind of like an automated port forwarding thing that your that your router can do. Almost any router nowadays will support it. But because we want to focus on a specific port, we turn that off. And then under the port used for incoming connections, we take the one that's being listed there and displayed for us in our Proton VPN client, nice and easy. So we type in 53637, uh, make sure to click apply, not just okay, and then you are ready to go back to the, the back to the torrent client. Close it, reopen it. I'm not going to do that in this case because obviously we've been connected at the start of the video, but if you are just doing this for the first time, again, make sure you're opening a fresh version of your torrent client. I recommend keep it torrent, but you can do any one you want. And again, the, the instructions for this will be kind of similar. You want to look for where the port being used is specified within your torrent client's options. And then we open up our torrenting file that we want to download. In this instance, I'm going to use our dedicated editorial test file that we have set up for the top 10 VPN office and for our testing methodologies and when we're doing videos like this. Get it into our torrent client. And after a very slight wait, it begins to download. And you can see the speeds there. I'm not sure what you're used to at home. It's going to obviously depend on your internet connection. And I suppose that is an important topic to cover off uh, just in brief, which is that your torrenting speeds, whilst port forwarding will absolutely help them or can absolutely help them, it's never going to be super excessive. You're always going to be held back somewhat by the speed of your internet connection. Now, I unfortunately right now where I live have a pretty poor internet connection, at least by the standards of, uh, of London and the United Kingdom and what's available. My internet connection caps out at around 65 or 70 megabits. So to be getting six going up into seven plus megabytes on the download uh, client there, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. You really, you couldn't get much faster than that. that that's practically maxed out. It'll also of course depend on the integrity of the torrent file as well. How many peers there are, how many leeches there are, how many seeds. But hopefully you'll get similar results when using Proton VPN to torrent too. So that's all there is to it. Hi there, me again. Sorry to interrupt that other guy, but I just realized uh, as I was wrapping this one up and I was editing it, there's one last thing I forgot to mention, which if you want the utmost privacy and security with torrenting and your VPN, and you want to take it to the very highest possible level, there is something you can do called binding. You can bind Proton VPN to your torrent client. Not just Qubit Torrent, but most torrent clients as well will allow this. And what it does is it ensures that your torrent client cannot establish a connection at all unless it's connected to the VPN and can sense that VPN connection there. It's pretty simple and straightforward to set up. However, I do think it deserves its own video, one which I haven't quite filmed yet. So once it's done and once it's uploaded, I will have a link to it in the description below at the bottom of this video. It won't be long at all. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, you can find that link there. But I'm not going to mention it now because I do think it deserves its own special walkthrough. So something to check out if that is something that sounds interesting to you. And until then, let's go back to the other video and the other guy. See you later. That's a super simple walkthrough, just like I promised you. Just remember to do the very basics, which are one, set up your kill switch, and set up your ad blocker if you like. Set up port forwarding properly, connect to a server that's as close to you as possible that supports port forwarding, if that's what you want to do. And then always, always, always remember to close your torrent client and reopen it once your VPN is connected before adding your torrent file. And we can take a quick look in the torrent client here and we can actually see, it's sort of going back and forth, there's one, IP address there, which is the IP address of the host of the torrent file that we're connected to, which is one of our servers, which is why I've blurred that out there, just so we don't dox our download server. And then 
my own IP address popped in there for a bit, but it wasn't my IP address, of course. It was the IP address that's been listed in the client there. You can see that they match up and they, they line up there. And that's all the proof right there. It's right there in the torrent client. You can see that IP address that's been shown that matches with the one in our VPN client. That is what everyone else who is torrenting the same file as you is going to see. You're going to be perfectly protected. If you want to be you know, even more anonymized, you could pick a server in a different country and that way the little flag that pops up won't even match the one that you're in. But honestly, you don't need to worry about that. Your IP address is being hidden properly and you're torrenting safely, you're torrenting quickly and you're using Proton VPN to the fullest of its abilities. Congratulations. Good luck with it. Hopefully this video was nice and straightforward. Do leave a comment if you had any issues, if you've had any successes, any wins, or if you just wanted to know more about the way it all works and if there's anything else that you could be doing that you're curious about, drop me a comment below. I'll do my best to answer or go to top10vpn.com for more information on torrenting and on ProtonVPN. And until then, good luck and I'll see you next time.